What's up ladies and gentlemen, let's take it once again and if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. If you've been around for some time, welcome back. Now as you all know on this channel we do talk about business, entrepreneurship and money. Now if you haven't realized I've been heavy on product research for some time now and that's because product research when it comes to dropshipping and e-commerce is the most important thing when starting out. If you're able to get your product research right, you will find a product that is worthy of testing and that could make you um, five, six, seven figures. Now, there are a lot of product research methods out there and I've covered some of them in different videos. So finding products on AliExpress, finding products on CJ Dropshipping, finding products on Ali Hunter. And so for this video, we're gonna be focusing on Earth's largest online marketplace and that is Amazon. Yes, you can find putting products on Amazon or even get product ideas from Amazon, see how well they're performing and you can you know, see if you can find a product on AliExpress or CJ and source it out and sell. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. So without wasting my time, let's get onto my laptop. And so obviously the first thing that you wanna do is go to Amazon. Um, in my case, Amazon.ca. And I'm not gonna sign in here. I'm just gonna go over to the bestseller section. So we can actually use, um, we can click on the hamburger menu to the left and select movers and shakers or we can go on to best sellers and select movers and shakers from there as well so both of them would bring us to the same page the movers and shakers section shows us what products have been getting traction on the amazon um, platform and it's updated uh within 24 hours i think or oh actually it's updated hourly and if you check here, see our biggest gainers in sales run over the past 24 hours and updated hourly. So we're gonna use this section to find um, products that you know are or could be worthy of selling, or products that could give us an idea of you know what we can look out for, what we should look out for in terms of finding the product for our stores. So off the top here, we have movers and shakers in pet supplies. We can click see more to see more. We have movers and shakers in handmade products, movers and shakers in Kindle store, movers and shakers in shoes and handbags, in home, video games, and there are, there's a whole lot more uh, departmental categories on the sidebar menu to the left. So what we're gonna do now is, you know, let's go over to the pet supplies and see what they have. So movers and shakers in pet supplies. So, this is the first item here, ranking number one, um, risen 3,000, over 3,000% um, in sales rank. So this is a Katie Clean Cozy Nitro Small Animal Bed. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, let's take a look at it. Oops, no. What exactly are you? Is this sawdust for animals, for pets? Dust spray for cleaner cage absorbs, five times this weight and liquid. Uh, looks like wood shavings. So, KD Clean and Cozy Small Pet Paper Bedding gives you a whole new standard in super soft absorbent bedding. Now, Clean and Cozy is soft and fluffy to encourage borrowing or nesting while absorbing two times more liquid than wood shave and it's clean and cozy absorbency means less odor that's why clean blah blah um honestly okay let's check the images yeah okay okay i see what it is um it has a 4.5 out of Breathing. Um, not really sure what I would search out for exactly for this house search for I mean what term I will use for this product on AliExpress or CJ so I'm gonna skip this product now there's this dog or puppy obedience recall training agility lead okay so what does this do it's like it's a dog leash I believe or train it out okay uh, okay what's so special about this dog leash I 
I just like to see anything special about this dog leash. It's just like any regular dog leash out there. So I'm going to skip this as well. But it's good to know that dog leashes are on the rise in terms of search rankings. There's this fish cut toy as well. Let's see what it does. Uh, I guess it's for cats to play with. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find this easily in pet stores. So we're going to skip this as well. And dental life tubes. Um, probably going to skip this as well. Yeah, most likely you find in a pet store. I'm not sure, but you may find it in a pet store. So let's check this guy here. Number five and number six are quite interesting. So rechargeable dog bark collar. Now this maybe yeah, it's a dog collar. So um, dog rechargeable dog bark collar. You may know shock barking collar. With vibration and beep modes okay so about this humane bark color with two modes in 96 percent cases helps decrease or eliminate dogs barking by automatic performance with seven safe stages of sound beeps and vibration now beeps and vibrations are switching automatically based on the amount of dogs barking increasing after each bark so I guess this tries to keep dogs silent, especially when going for walks and dogs encounter other dogs, you just want to bark. Um, so this um, sort of prevents, stops them from doing that, uh, from barking that much. So it's a no shock, no shock bark color and it's adjustable for dogs weighing 11 to 110 pounds with neck size of 9 to 22 inches. So this looks like a good something that uh, if we can get a good video, uh, we this should be something that we can sell. Now, in a few weeks, there will be almost no barking, so it doesn't guarantee instant. It doesn't eliminate barking instantly, I guess. So, smart microphone barker does not pick up other dogs and the noises around. So, I it only picks up your dog's um, bark, so the dog that is wearing the color. So this five vibration levels is really cool and you can call monks quietness at home okay lightweight smart microphone my only fear is it would be quite discomforting for the dog but let's see okay let's check what the reviews say so first of all four out of five for reviews um, We'll check the top I mean the five the five star reviews first let's see images okay we'll check the five star reviews first and we'll go on to see the one percent see what I mean the one star what they get about the product and we can then try and see if we can find um, a product that solves that problem and you know that that solves that problem and still has the benefits of this product or we can find a way of mentioning addressing those issues in our product description um, when talking about the product on our store so my dog is finally quiet I was skeptical of this color because my nine-month-old golden retriever pup is spirited I mean the kind of spirited where he feels obedient strain not because he didn't know the commands but because he would refuse to do them and refuse loudly Wow you tell him to sit and he get defiant and bark as loud as he can at you and not stop until you put him in his crate for a timeout. Uh, he loved playing this game where he would jump up on the couch directly behind me and bark as loud as he could in my ear, literally making my ears ring. We'd had enough, so I chose this color because it didn't have an option to shock. I would never want to shock my pop, but kids can get short of patience and you never know what it might do when you're around. So I didn't even want it to be an option. I like the idea of the beep and vibration if he didn't stop barking. I'm telling you this thing did the trick. The first time he barked, he beeped and he was confused and startled. The second time, he started understanding. Then the third time with vibration, he knew exactly what was going on. Golden retrievers are known to be intelligent, so he picked it up quick. It's so quiet, it's like a different pup. He does still bark but every once in a while and sometimes the sensor doesn't pick it up but it's usually but usually will at the second or third bark 
and as soon as the sound beeps, the sound beep goes off and becomes silent. I love my pop and believe me when I say I didn't want to have to mute him. But for Nielsen's Barking, this is a ringer of a product. Now this review is just super amazing. I'll try to find, you know, craft the story around this on my product page. Uh, let's see, great colorful humane anti-barking training. Um, amazing result, it works. Great choice for my for fairy dogs. It's a miracle, I mean, love, you know. They are, these are great reviews. Uh, already making huge impact. Um, now let's, this is a one star review, terrible cruel product. So um, this color had the exact opposite effect on our two year old uh, Dash Hound. Uh, Dash Hound, he barked uncontrollably and ran in circles, getting worse and more frantic the more he barked. This product not only doesn't work for our dog, it is downright cruel. Tried it twice, first time was a disaster. After changing the settings to the minimum and him wearing it for 10 minutes, we needed to take it off as it was frantic and it took a few hours to get back to normal. Even after taking it off, he's still running circles. Uh, if I could give this negative stars, I would. I have a short video we took as the first time as we watched disaster. As we watched, we took as the first time was such a disaster. We wanted to ensure we could capture his reaction to one artist when we tried it for the second time. So let's see the video. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, it clearly doesn't work for every dog, and I mean it's expected. Not every. It would. It would be great if it solves a product for every. I mean, if it solves a problem, I mean, if it works with every dog, but um, obviously it wouldn't be. It wouldn't work for every dog. Uh, different tolerance levels and stuff like that. But yeah, so this one product that we come across, if we, I mean, would have to. You know, mention make mention of if you can find a different product that um, addresses or makes it more makes it a different product that you know um, you know would work for every dog that would be great and then I'd mention that um, no this doesn't work for every dog um, somewhere in the product page okay so let's take a look at the other products on here so the one you see, the one C dog surgery recovery suit. Um, you can skip that. Let's go down. So there's a pet groomer. Uh, again, another dog color. Okay, and I think it's similar to, it's similar to this. Let's see what it does. Yep, it's similar to what we saw before. Uh, we can check the reviews and this is the number one bestseller. Let's see, uh, 3.6 out of 5. Okay, now that's, that gets disturbing. So one star again, let's see. So disappointed. So product itself is easy to use. Choose your preferred settings. Downside is the battery doesn't last very long. Okay. So it's about battery and on the impact on the dog. Effective and traumatized my dog. Okay, don't bother. So this worked well while uh, lasted. We used as a training tool and worked for a month. It won't charge or turn on. Okay. So uh, clearly this particular one has battery issues, battery and power issues. So I'm not gonna go with it. Uh, so yeah, that is the pet section we've actually come across oh there is this guy automatic pet feeder um, let's see what it does okay so 6,000 ratings and it's what 4.5 in total 4 points 4.6 out of 5 so yeah I think well, I like in this product uh, what does it do exactly 
So no pre-done wake-up calls or worry when you're over time at night. Easy to program. So I guess you program this and then it feeds your cat. Um, it, it puts, it dispenses food into um, the, this section for your cat or maybe dog. I guess it's just cats. Oh, for your both cat and dog. So that is good. Now, Pet Libro, I think I came across this store today. Sometimes they petlibro.com. Okay, so this is just this is the store. I think they're using the motion theme. The design of it looks familiar. I think they're using the motion theme. I may be wrong, but yeah, this is their store. Um, the motion theme is a premium theme, if you didn't know. So this pet, they clearly specialize in um, feeders. I don't know if they are drop shipping this product. Um, actually, let's check and see if this is on AliExpress. Okay, yeah, so. So automatic cat feeder. Okay, let's sort by orders. Um, I'm not seeing what we saw on there. I'm not seeing this guy here, but um, there is. This is top selling. So even though we are not getting this guy, we're getting other options. Okay, so there's this that's also top selling. So yeah, two times same product. So if cat feeders or pet feeders are selling right now, are kind of like trending. Okay. Oh, there's a similar looking one. I think it's kind of similar to what we saw. The automatic supply system. Oh. Yeah. Let's check the customer reviews. Um, are there any image reviews? Come on. Okay. Now the more image reviews you have, the better. Oh, it looks like this got cracked. Yeah. Okay, so that is good. Uh, and then we have these guys as well. Let's see this one. Okay, so obviously we have to create a better add than that. Now, 4,000 orders, about 900 reviews. This product is clearly being drop shipped. Uh, I'm in a private or incognito mode, so I can't use any of my extensions to see how well it's doing uh, every single day. So, that's it for the pets. 
we can try uh, we can try other categories as well so let's see uh, let's check home so weighted blankets for kids that's interesting I know weighted blankets do oh and there's a vacuum the robot vacuum cleaner Fryer, like a comforter set. Okay. Digital, digital kitchen skills. Oh, the dish rack. I remember we talked about this dish rack in the TikTok videos. So it clearly makes sense that it's gaining traction on Amazon as well. So that's something that you could test out uh, because I know it's trending. I know for a fact that it's trending on TikTok. Uh, weighted blankets. I know weighted blankets are also, you know, I know it's, it's kind of like a saturated space. Um, and a weighted blanket for kids. You no, know, let's check Google Trends and see what comes up. Considering that we're entering into the winter months. Okay, not so much in terms of past 12 months. September 2020 peak in um, between November 22nd and 28th. Then yeah, dropped. Okay, let's check the last 2040 present. Let's see. So do I not FN and he started also you know it started gaining traction November 2018? Okay. So December 2019. See what month is this? November 2019, I guess. December 2019, it picked up again. Okay, and it drops after. So and November 2020. So yeah. So clearly between now and December, weighted blankets are gonna be a thing again. And so this is for Canada, let's check United States. You have kind of like a similar trend, so 20 in November 2018, December 2018, December 2019. Okay, 2020, 2020? Okay, I guess it didn't do that much in 2020. So we are heading towards 2021 and I expect it to spike up again. Let's check worldwide and see. Yeah. So 2017, then 2018, 2019. Top countries, Canada, Australia, United States, New Zealand, and Ireland. Yeah. So weighted blankets for kids, I guess that's a new, that's a new, um, I guess the, the ones before that have been for adults. Yeah. So there's something we're trying. The robot cleaner, robot vacuum cleaner. I've seen this product a couple of times. I haven't attempted selling this, but again, this is a cool product. Um, you know what? Let's just check Google as well. So, vacuum, vacuum cleaner. Okay. Let's make a robotic vacuum cleaner. Any interest worldwide? Let's check the United States. Okay, that's like an average number. Let's check. Was a mistake, so robotic. Okay, 
there's some people I'm not searching for it, but if we do, let's see, vacuum cleaner. Obviously, it's interesting in vacuum cleaners, not just uh, robotic vacuum cleaners. So, I guess there's still like market space for that. Um, yeah. And vacuum cleaner. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if there are robotic vacuum cleaners in Walmart. Uh, we saw Walmart here. Uh, but hey. You want to research further before testing a product. So, uh, these are some of the products that you can come across are using Amazon, Amazon's movers and shakers. Uh, let's see, uh, luggage and bags, nah. jewelry. I think we're in and toast the gift season, so uh, not necessarily jewelry, maybe handmade products, um, personalized, yeah, something like this. Personalized keychains. So this, considering the Q4 um, holiday season, personalized gifts. Yeah, these these could do well. Um, again, you want to you want to uh, research more, research further before choosing a product um, to sell. But yeah, to test. And once you find a product, you want to uh, create your build your website and then create advertisement. For advertisement, you could go over to uh, launch ads and uh, get your advertisements done before you test remember you want to make sure you have good creatives um, for your product before going out there to compete it's a competition um, and if you have good if you have good creatives then you're most likely to drive traffic from Facebook to your store you can get a discount using the discount code Lester5 I'll leave it in the description so go out there get your quality video ads done and then go out there and compete i hope you found this video super helpful if you did just smash the like button and if you haven't yet subscribed do all well to subscribe and peace out